Inside AI ML welcomes you to start your journey with data analytics and this journey will start with Power BI and SQL and basics of data analytics so you can enhance your career in the data analytics area. So let's begin. So first thing which we are going to learn in this uh, series is Power BI and what is Power BI? So Power BI is a business intelligence and analytics tool from Microsoft. Microsoft has legacy of products in this area including from SQL Server integration services, uh, SQL Server reporting services, they have this tabular model uh, inside the SQL Server integration services, uh, they have these power pivots and all those products were there already. Now in 2015 July Microsoft launched a product where you have this tabular editor coming in along with the uh, power pivot or the power query uh, things to make your journey of business intelligence as a consolidated and one place. Now over a period of time Microsoft has increased this ecosystem of Power BI and now you have something known as Power Platform so which is integrated with Power BI and you have lot many options around Power BI. So what we are going to do we are going to look into all such options and let you know how big this ecosystem is and how can you take advantage of it. On top of it Power BI's connectivity with Azure with all other set of databases and data sources makes it you know leading tool and right now Microsoft Power BI is leading Gartner's magic quadrant for quite some time. So this is the one tool you should learn uh, uh, to enhance your career in data analytics. So let's begin this journey to enhance your career and inside AI ML welcomes you for that. So, so first thing which we have to understand when we start data analytics what is data itself. So if you ask me we are all surrounded by data like when you are going to watch this video it is going to generate data. What kind of data? How many people has viewed? How much amount of video has been viewed? Minutes? Seconds? And uh, from which location it has been viewed? What kind of rating people are giving to this video? So we are all surrounded with this data and this data is can be broadly classified into two categories qualitative or quantity quantitative is which is measurable like this video has been viewed 10 times 100 times 1000 times qualitative from where it has been viewed from city let's say uh, it has been viewed from Lucknow or for Delhi from New York or uh, what are the browsers from where it has been viewed duration of minute it has been viewed is a qualitative now because it tells you a number it tells you from where you can judge the performance it is basically a performance judging matrix but against which you are going to judge the performance it could be city it could be a browser it could be time so one of the best uh, measurement which happens in or one of the common measurement which happens is against time we say okay this video on day one got 100 hits Today 2 it's got another 200 hit gate 3 it got is, is it improving month by month is it not improving month on month these are the things which we you judge for data for we analyze data for so that's where so we are surrounded all over with data and what is data then so data are the units of information often numeric that are collected through observations in a most technical sense the data are the set of values of qualitative and quantitative variables about one or more person or objects while data term a singular data is a single value or a single variable. So this is what Wikipedia says so but you have to understand these are observations which are qualitative or quantitative in nature we are collecting them now they are stored either in excel sheets uh, they are stored in text file they are stored broadly in databases or uh, data databases could be SQL or NoSQL you are doing social media these days social media is generating data now the data is of different type but whatever you are storing now there could be two types of data there so one data which you are writing down is one kind of data and one once you have like uh, you know views and all those are different kind of data one seems like organized one seems like unorganized so we'll discuss about that in a little bit but we are generating data we are surrounded by data what are the data sources so there are quite a few data sources we started discussing those but uh, the common data sources when you go in organization and work is ERP CRM or any kind of system which is actually capturing the uh, data which is happening for the transactions to run that organization it could be HRMS where you know hiring is happening you know 
इंटरव्यूज आर हैपनिंग पेरोल्स हैज बीन प्रोसेस और इट कुड बी फाइनेंशियल डिपार्टमेंट विच इज टू कीप ट्रैकिंग ऑफ यू नो प्रॉफिट्स लॉस और इट कुड बी सेल्स यू नो हाउ मेनी लीड्स आर कमिंग हाउ मेनी थिंग्स वी हैव एक्चुअली गॉट द सेल्स ऑर्डर हाउ मेनी सेल्स ऑर्डर हैज बिन डिलीवर्ड हाउ मेनी ऑफ दैम डिलीवर्ड ऑन टाइम और इफ यू आर इन परचेजिंग दैन आर वी एबल टू परचेज ऑन टाइम हाउ मेनी वेंडर्स वी हैव आर दोज वेंडर्स आर सप्लाइंग अस ऑन टाइम और नॉट सो देर आर एवरीवेयर वेन यू गो इन टू द ऑर्गनाइजेशन ऑल द डेटा पॉइंट्स विच वी आर कैप्चरिंग आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट डेटा फॉर अस एंड डेटा बेस वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दैट एंड गोइंग टू टेक सम डिसीजन ऑन दैट नाउ then there are machines which are generating machine level data binary data is getting generated social media you all are engaged with some social media platform so there we are generating another kind of huge data so social media is very big source of data where you know every moment we are getting tons of data so we are likes uh, your views uh, you know popular videos you know locations from where these videos are coming which site from these videos are coming lot of lot of data is getting generated and getting analyzed now there are smart devices like your smart tvs your smart uh, um, devices like mobile and all those which you are generating tons of data and these data is getting also captured by some of those smart device um, companies to you know know your behavior or user behavior what kind of data is been going to be liked so we are all surrounded by such smart devices which are collecting data continuously it could be smart cameras it could be smart tv smart fridge all around us we are you know surrounded with these smart devices and they are generating tons of data and getting that getting analyzed and you know machine learning applied on top of that to take some kind of decision making so if you remember if you might have visited some kind of websites like or some kind of app like amazon or flipkart of the world then you might have seen some suggestions has been made to you what you can purchase or similar kind of purchase people are doing what they are purchasing from where they are coming they are all coming from all these data gathered and has been analyzed and those output has been shown to you so we are surrounded with data data analytics and bi and they are you know daily basis are part of our life now so what we are going to learn here so so as you know power bi is a business intelligence tool or data analytics tool uh, we are going to learn business intelligence so what is this business intelligence so when you start taking data driven decision the data is the one which is helping you to take your decision or data has been analyzed and put in a format where you can take a decision or data can suggest you a decision so data decision can be descriptive or diagnostics in nature where you need to diagnose and put it or it could be prescriptive or predictive in nature it can predict this could happen or it could be prescriptive where it says okay uh, do this now this is all different technologies but we typically when we talk about business intelligence we talk about descriptive and diagnostic data when we talk about data science we talk about prescriptive and predictive um, uh, part of the data analytics world so what we are going to learn is descriptive and diagnostic analysis and we see how data will help us how we will interpret data to take decisions that is what we are going to do now in this series now as per wikipedia business intelligence is comprises of strategies and technologies used by enterprise for the data analysis of business information bi technologies provide historical current and predictive views of the business operations so basically it is not only the data it is around the technologies which are enabling it it is the complete ecosystem what we are calling here so that's where the business intelligence is there and we are living in a data era where we are going to take our decisions with help from the data so let's continue this journey with inside ai ml and we will you know make sure that we teach you best of the business intelligence using power bi so that you can uh, excel in data analytics area